Telegram is a great messaging app and the biggest attraction is the presence of bots. With them, you can do a lot of useful things such as create reminders, voting polls for groups or rules such as blocking or muting users who violate group policies. Here are 5 best Telegram bots that you should start using to improve your overall Telegram experience. Botfather is an official bot provided by Telegram that helps you create new bots and gives you control over them to manage as per your needs. The other bots that you'll see going forward are all created using this bot. Here's how you can start setting up. To create a new bot, type in this and now choose a unique name for it. Once you're done, it will send you a token which will look like this. Keep this token safe because if someone gets access to it, they'll be able to control your bot. You can say it's like a password to an admin account. When you open the newly created bot, it won't respond to any text because no commands or codes have been written to it. I'll provide a link to the API manual for the bot so you can learn how to add more commands. Second in the list is Skeddy. This is a simple and powerful reminder bot that helps you set up and manage daily and weekly reminders. This is a great bot that will help you remember things that you've planned for the day. For the first time, you'll need to enter your language and location to set this time zone. Now you can start adding reminders. For example, I want to visit my optician later in the day, so I'll create a reminder of it. Now let's check out the reminder. As you can see, it sends me a reminder of it through the Telegram app. This works for group 2. Open profile and down below select add to group. Once you have added it, give it admin rights of the group to make it work properly. If you need any help, type in slash and it will show you its options with a brief description. Many illegitimate or spam links are shared on Telegram and we never know which link may download an infected file on a device. The best way to solve this problem is by using Dr. Webbot. With its help, all the files and links will be checked for viruses, ensuring safety. Also, this bot can scan all files and links shared in a chat or a group chat, so you can be sure that any links you click are safe. You may even use this bot separately to scan any links before visiting them in your browser. The only step you have to do is to add or paste the link on the bot page or in the group chat where this bot is present and within few seconds the results will be displayed. Speaking of spam posts, do you know you can set different rules for your group such as like automatically muting or kicking someone out of the group if they break a group rule or want to limit who can join your group? Check out Miss Rose bot. With this bot added to your group, it will help you manage it more easily and you can say goodbye to spam accounts. First, you'll need to set up Rosebot. Once you're done, add it to your group and give it admin rights. Now create rules or automatic reply by instructing the bot that will respond to certain keywords in the chat. For example, in the group, I'll give Rosebot a command that will automatically respond to a query that is frequently asked. Let's say members ask when is the meeting so i'll type slash filter then the keyword that is meeting and then the response to it next time when anyone mentions the keyword rosebot will automatically respond this bot can be complicated at first however after regular use it becomes easy to use there are plenty of other things you can do with this so try out exploring do you want to find a place to meet up with your friends? Let's say you have a few potential choices, but you need to figure out which option is the best for everyone. In such situation, a poll might be a useful option and for that, I recommend you use VoteBot. With this, you can create a poll for your group and it will help you decide the location that everyone prefers. A creator can create a public poll where everyone can see who has chosen which option or if there is a sensitive topic. The creator has the option to create an anonymous poll which will not reveal the identity of voters. Over here, there is no need to add the bot to your group. Instead, you can create a poll separately with the bot 
and share it with the group. All the controls related to the bot can be accessed from the bot page. I hope you've found something useful on my list. I've added the links to all the bots in the description from where you can easily access them. Thank you for watching and if you have any queries related to it, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright then, take care and see you next week.